everybody. So this is my first little talking update, I guess, for the vlog. I'm trying out a new structure for my vlogs where I focus more on the actual vlogging content instead of all of the talking pieces because I normally talk a lot in my vlogs. But I wanted to show you guys a lot more of my like day-to-day -day stuff this weekend. Um, it is Labor Day weekend. Today is Friday, September 4th, although technically it is now the 5th because I think it is about 1 a.m. Um, but I wanted to vlog this weekend because I do have a long weekend. Um, I don't have to go to work or school on Monday because it is Labor Day, so I decided that I wanted to get some work done this weekend for writing and reading and um, a bunch of other things. I'm also going to be showing you kind of day in the life of a full-time student and an author since I'm both of those things. So yeah, I kind of wanted to just walk you through my weekend, but I wanted to give you a little bit of an update because I am currently reading Children of Virtue and Vengeance by Tommy Adeyemi, and I wanted to give you a reading update because I want to possibly finish this book this weekend, so I'm going to kind of update you on my progress as I read it. So I am on page 74 and I have read um, some today as you saw in the vlog both outside and just now um, but right now I'm on page 74 and so I'm going to read some more and we'll see how much progress I make tonight but I think that this cover is absolutely stunning. So beautiful. This is the sequel to Children of Blood and Bone um, and I think that there's going to be a third book possibly. I'm not 100% sure about that but I think that there's a third book. But I really really enjoy Children of Blood and Bone. Um, I thought the story was so so good. The message is really really great um, and the world building is amazing like absolutely incredible world building so i really enjoyed children of blood and bone and if you want to uh check out my full review it is on my goodreads page which is linked down below in the description box if you want to go see all of my reviews including the one for children of blood and bone there's also some content warnings i guess in there as well um about just different content uh yeah, so go check out that review if you're interested in reading more, but I'm currently reading the sequel and I'm really enjoying it so far. It is really, really good and I'm really engaged. Um, so yeah, I'm going to read this tonight and you guys saw some stuff that I worked on today. I worked on some stuff for school. Um, hopefully tomorrow I'll get the rest of my schoolwork done and then um, like I'm kind of planning each day like what I want my my like main theme to be, like the bulk of that work. So tomorrow is mainly a school uh, day for finishing homework and stuff that I need to do for that. And then tomorrow night I am going to work on some content creation for social media and different stuff possibly edit a video. I want to film a video possibly tomorrow so then I can edit it. Um, but one of my friends is a singer and so she um, is like launching her singing career similar to how I'm launching my author career and we're kind of in similar stages um, with that. Just she's in music and I am in writing and so we're going to kind of have a quarantine social distancing content creation party if you could call it that. Um, and we're going to work on some content creation together with masks and social distancing and all of that. But that should be fun and I can get some stuff done also. Um, but yeah, I don't exactly know everything I'm going to do. I know I want to work on some writing on Monday and have just like a writing day on Monday. And I want to read some books because I haven't been reading hardly at all. Um, I finished seven books this year so far. Um, I think, or maybe eight, um, but I miss it. I miss it so, so much, and I have an entire bookshelf uh, of books, and I have like 50 books that I own that I've never read, and I just got some books for my birthday, and I miss reading. I, I used to read like a book a day when I was younger, and so I want to get back into it, and as an author, it's important too, so I'm getting back to it, getting back to reading a little more frequently, um, and this weekend, hopefully, I can read uh, this book and then maybe start another book. I don't know. We'll see. So yeah, I will keep you updated on my progress. Like I said, I'm on page 74, so I'm going to keep reading and we'll see how far I get.
guys it is now about 3 p.m on saturday and i wanted to bring you guys outside because it is so beautiful today like i wish that i could like you could feel it through the screen it is so gorgeous and i can feel fall coming and i'm so excited um it's about 70 degrees and i'm going to show you the view here i'll switch you guys i don't know if i can actually switch you guys around no, it won't let me switch you guys around, but I'll show you in a second um, the view because it's just so sunny and there's blue skies and it's so gorgeous. And so I'm going to try to come outside and do a little bit of work. And then, like I said later, I'm going to go and have like a content planning session with one of my friends. Um, and then tonight I'll probably do some reading and I need to finish some assignments for school because I want to get them all done today like I mentioned last night and last night I actually only read like another 20 or 25 pages and then I went to sleep because it was almost 2, 2 a.m. Um, so I'm going to read more tonight and then tomorrow I want to read and spend more time outside because it's supposed to be this beautiful outside tomorrow also um, and then also on Monday which is Labor Day and my day off I want to do writing like pretty much that whole day so yeah that's what I'm going to do today and I'm going to show you this gorgeous view and then I'll get started on my work. Sunday and it is about 2 30 in the afternoon and I wanted to give a little bit of an update so right now to be completely honest I have not really done that much today it's been a slow day and I am kind of frustrated right now because I have been having some technological issues because my phone and my computer have decided that they are just not going to work with me at all um, and so I've been trying to offload footage that I've taken on my phone for this vlog and it will not tether to my computer and my computer says it needs to have an update but we don't have enough internet at our house to do the update so I'm going to have to go drive to my dad's office to get enough internet because he has his own little self-contained office so I can go there anytime I want even on the weekends and I don't have to worry about social distancing and that kind of stuff because I'll be alone so I'm gonna go there and do the updates and I also need to do some stuff for school to finish up and for an internship and so I'm gonna go and do that today and I'm probably not gonna vlog that because I just need to get some work done and to be totally honest as much as I love vlogging for you guys it actually takes a lot of time um, to actually vlog these segments so I'm not gonna vlog when I'm working because I really just need to focus on working but I wanted to do a quick little update about what I did yesterday because I did not vlog that much yesterday um, so I just wanted to fill in kind of the gaps and then hopefully today after I finish my work and I come back home I will vlog more for you guys later this evening and then all day tomorrow I plan to vlog tomorrow hopefully I'll be done with all of my work and I don't have to worry about any of it tomorrow so I can focus on writing and reading but this is like a really realistic vlog you know sometimes I try to like st not stage things like I'm never dishonest but sometimes I do try to purposefully put things on a weekend so that I can include it in the vlog like for example going up to an outlook for a mountain view or going on like a hike or a walk or a drive or something that's like really pretty so I can put it in the vlog or do like a lot of writing and reading so that this vlog has a lot of content 
but at the same time I want to be realistic and show you guys what an actual weekend in the life is like for me so I guess this is realistic sometimes I don't you know do a lot of writing and sometimes I have technology issues and sometimes like things don't go the way that I planned so yeah but I did want to show you guys a few things first so yesterday I um, had like a pretty I wouldn't say an unproductive day but I definitely was not as productive you know so that's why I didn't vlog yesterday but um, mostly yesterday I did some work for school um, and then I went and saw one of my friends I think I mentioned that I was gonna do that on Friday um, and so we had like a little social distancing meetup we talked about some content creation stuff and then we watched some movies which was really fun we watched a Barbie movie um, because we both used to love Barbie movies whenever we were younger so that was really really fun um, and we did that and then I got home pretty late and then I just watched a little something on Hallmark with my mom and then I what did I do last night I think that I went to bed I think it was like 2 p.m. Um, I did a little bit of schoolwork and then I went to bed so or 2 a.m. sorry so yeah then I went to bed but today I got up late since I was up late and then my dad made us brunch um, and then I watched a part of a sermon and then I've been dealing with all of those technological issues for like a few hours now so that's why I haven't vlogged a lot today but hopefully I'll make up for it. Yeah but I wanted to show you something because whenever I went to see my friend yesterday she got me some things for my birthday and it's for my bookstagram flat lays so I wanted to show you that and then my mom also got me a late birthday present also which I thought that I would show you just for fun so give me a second to grab it and I'll show you guys. Okay, so she got me some little candles for my bookstagram flat lays, which I thought was so sweet and thoughtful. Um, and like, I really, really love them because I love using candles in my flat lays, but I only own like two or three that I can use in them. So she got me a bunch of ones to use. So this one, I don't know how well you can see this, but this one is kind of like a grayish, purpley kind of color um, and it has like these beveled edges on it so it's really cool and I feel like it'll look really cool in the photos and then she got me this like gray and white marbly one and then this one which is like this really whitish bluish sort of color and then this one which is this light pink color so three of them are those beveled ones and then one is a marble one and so she got me all of those and I thought that that was super sweet so I will be using those in my bookstagram photos going forward um so I wanted to show you that and then my mom got me this late little birthday present um, and she got me a book for my future classroom. For those of you that don't know, I'm studying education, so I'm going to be a teacher, and I have collected a ton of books. Well, I wouldn't say a ton. I've co collected quite a few books so far for my future classroom, um, and it's something that I ask for for Christmas a lot. This year for my birthday, I asked for books for, like, myself, some novels, um, so I got those, but normally for Christmas I ask for picture books or chapter books for my future classroom, and so my mom um, just happened to buy this as a late birthday present and I love this book um, and the reason that she knew that I wanted it is because I used it for a mini lesson that I did but I got it from the library because I didn't own it and so she bought me a copy so I thought that was super super sweet but the illustrations in this book are absolutely gorgeous and I'll try to find one of my favorite ones okay so I really really like this one and then also one of my favorite illustrations in this book the illustrator is just, this is this page right here. I don't know if you guys can see that really well, but um, it's gorgeous, gorgeous. And like the top is the boy kind of being sad. And then whenever you turn it over, um, it has like a reflective image that's different. And so I just think that that's super, super gorgeous. And the message of this book is so awesome. And there's a lot of um, diversity and culture and races and just a lot of different things so I really really love this one and so I wanted to show you guys that because I thought that was sweet that she got that so that is all that I did yesterday and that's all that I've done today so I'm gonna go and drive to my dad's office and get some work done and then I will continue vlogging whenever I get back home but this is gonna be a crazy busy week and I uh, got a request yesterday from somebody who one of my subscribers who also follows me on Instagram and I got a DM from her on Instagram and she asked me if I could do a vlog of a day in the life during the week because normally I only do weekend vlogs but she wanted to know what the day a day in the life of a full-time student and an author is like because she is also a full
full-time student who wants to be an author and so she asked if I could do that and so I definitely want to do that for you guys but I don't know if I'll do it this week because it's crazy crazy this week and I've vlogged this weekend. I'm thinking about doing it in a few weeks once What Lies Above actually like I'm in the self-publishing like the really de deep depths of the self-publishing process because right now I'm just finishing the edits but once I finish the edits I'll be doing all the self-publishing stuff and I'll be doing the pre-orders and I'll be doing all of that and I feel like that's a little bit more like authory and then I'll also be writing the second draft of or the first draft of the second book in the What Lies Above trilogy so I figure that's a little bit more of like an actual day-to-day -day author life so I might do the vlog then um, and then do a weekday where I show you guys the day in the life of an author and a full-time student because it's a lot and it's very crazy and I definitely don't have it all nailed down. I do not have a perfect schedule at all um, or a good routine. I'm really trying to get set in one. The school semester just started again, so I'm still trying to kind of get into that routine. So hopefully by then I'll have a better routine and I'll be able to show you guys a day in the life of an author and a full-time student. So if there, if you ever have any requests for videos, you can always leave them down below in the comments or DM me on Instagram um, because I do keep a list of requests and I try to film all of the videos that you guys request. So that's all for today. I'm going to go drive to my dad's office and get some work done and I'll catch up with you guys later. Hey guys, so for my nightly update, I got home from my dad's office and now I'm going to read a little bit. I was going to work on more homework, but honestly, I'm so tired. So I think I'm just going to read for a little while and then go to bed. And also I'm going to turn the camera around because I want to show you guys something. Tomorrow, one of the things that I hopefully want to do is reorganize my bookshelves because I have so many books that need to go on the shelves, but the shelves right now are pretty packed. So I'm going to have to rearrange some things in order to make room. So I'm going to take you guys over here and show you the books that I need to somehow fit onto my shelf. Okay, so here are the books right here. You can't really see them very well, so let me move around here. But those are all the books that I need to put on my shelf. There are 18 of them, I counted, um, as well as some like little merchandise. There's some little um, things, it's not going to focus, but um, that I have from the Children of Blood and Bone series. I have a bookmark and then these little like trading cards that I put on the shelf. But as you guys know, most of you know what my shelves look like. This is what my shelves look like. So right now they are pretty organized, but they are also pretty full, but there's definitely space like I can rearrange things. See here to kind of make room for more books and maybe turn some of the front facing books sideways, although not The Hunger Games because that's my favorite, but maybe turn some of these front facing books sideways um, in the hopes that I can fit all of those books on there. So I'll probably try to do that tomorrow. So I'm done reading for the night and I got to page 
140 and there are 400 pages in this book. So I started out on page 75 and I got to page 140. So that's actually a pretty good amount because normally I don't like I have to read in really small stints and it takes me like an entire month to read a book. So reading that many pages in one night is actually really good progress for me and I want to start reading more because I have so many TBR books, like 50 TBR books that I own, not to mention all of the ones that I want to read. And I've got some for my birthday and I have a bunch that I just got, not to mention all the ones that I still own that I haven't read. So I want to start reading more um, and prioritizing that. And so I'm really happy with the progress that I made on this and hopefully I can read some more tomorrow and make more progress. But I'm going to go to bed because tomorrow I have a bunch of things that I want to get done and I'm also hopefully going to do some writing tomorrow. So I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>excuse this horrible horrible lighting i'm having to do this on my phone right now because i am currently offloading a bunch of footage off of my regular camera onto my computer because it's full on storage so i'm having to use my phone for this little clip so i'm sorry about the horrible lighting but that's okay i wanted to do a little bit of an update it is 11 p.m after I ate dinner, I had to work on some more homework, but I just finished everything, and so I'm very thankful for that. And for most people, 11 is incredibly late. I mean, in general, it is pretty late, but I normally don't go to bed. It depends on what day, obviously. Sometimes I stay up until 2 if it's like the weekend, but... Tonight, um, I'm going to stay up a little bit longer and still get some stuff done. I think I'm going to not completely rearrange my bookshelves behind me, but I'm definitely going to put the books that I showed you earlier in the vlog, all the ones that are on my floor, I'm going to put them on my shelf. So I'm going to kind of rearrange a little bit and I'll show you guys. I'll vlog that um, at, with like a time lapse. So I'm going to add all of those books onto my shelf because they've been sitting on my floor for weeks. So I just want to get them off the floor and get them onto my shelf. So um, hopefully you enjoyed this vlog. Uh, this will probably be my last little talking segment. I'm probably just going to show um, all those clips with music overlay. So I will go on ahead and sign off for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you like seeing vlogs, can you please let me know down below in the comments? Just leave, leave me a little comment because vlogs do take a long time to film and to edit. And I love doing them. And I know that you guys have said you enjoy them. But I want to continue making content that you all enjoy. And that you find encouraging and uplifting. Because that's ultimately what I want my channel to be about is encouraging you guys um, and being a light in the writing community and just, you know, lifting you guys up on your journeys as well. So if you like seeing vlogs, sometimes I get into this like mindset of why would anyone want to see my life or 
I don't know, just that they're boring or that you guys don't want to see them. So let me know in the comments if you enjoy them. And as always, you can go follow me on my Instagram, which reminds me that I forgot to mention one other thing I did today was I did post to my Instagram, both on my writing page and my faith page. I will put the little photos up here that I posted for each of those. Um, so I did that also today. But yeah, that is all for tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed this and you can find all my links down below in the description box to go follow me wherever you want. Instagram, Goodreads, Twitter, whatever, um, whatever platform that you prefer. So you can go and check those out and I will catch you guys in my next vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Room and I don't have any room in my bedroom for another shelf, so I'm just gonna have to make this work. Okay.